Oh yeah, this is an old CRT from a computer monitor, which is a monochrome, so it's just a, like a black and white uh, tube. They're getting quite rare now. This one's had quite a lot of use, and in fact you can see there's some screen burn along here on the phosphor. When CRTs get old, not only do they sometimes get screen burn, but they also the cathode becomes less emissive, which means there's less electrons from the surface of the cathode. This got me thinking of something I'd seen years ago. You can actually image the cathode surface on the screen if you wire up correctly. In normal operation, the electrons are focused onto a sharp spot on the screen. In this setup, we want a diverging beam to produce a large image. So where is this cathode? Well, it's part of the electron gun. So in here, the cathode at the back here, and this is the electron gun. Might be easier if we look at a larger electron gun. If we look closer at an electron gun like this one, this one's a black and white one from an old CRT, it's quite large. Uh, the electron gun assembly with the anodes and the focusing anode here, but the cathode is buried way inside here. This is a single cathode on its own and you can see it's very, very small. This is the heater assembly, which is part of the cathode. And the cathode surface that emits towards the screen of the tube is just the end cap of this little tube here. Okay, we've connected this tube up, we've got the heater running at the normal voltage, uh, we've got the cathode connected and the final anode. Uh, that's all we've got connected up at the moment and we'll see what happens. So we're looking at the screen and the anode voltage is coming up. And you can see this pattern here, which is an unfocused dot. Okay, we've focused in here on the the image on the screen and uh, one thing I can do to change the intensity is change the anode voltage. So the anode voltage is increasing and you can see the image is getting a little brighter. This is another monochrome cathode ray tube. It's out of a projector television so it's a red screened CRT. These are designed for high light output and we've connected it up the same way. 